Execute the two five acts. Ask Mr. Ramos Pedi because he says he has it. How do you know, sir? No, my lord. No, no, wait. You don't know. Let's ask the person who knows. My lord, I was just confirming with my learned colleagues if it's the information that's on the disk that we got last week, and they confirmed. And I, I do Did you confirm that information. I do, the disk? It, 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 it's a lot of pages, my lord, but I, I do have the information relevant to his evidence, my lord. So I got this comment that said Ramesipedi is a sellout. He sold out the defense. But the fact of the matter is if he has the records, he has the records. I don't think he was wrong to do that. However, I don't think he was understanding what Nisi needed. So that's why I think there was a miscommunication there. So yes, Ramesipedi shouldn't have thrown Advocate Nisi under the bus. But you know what? Advocate Nisi is a big boy, okay? Advocate Nisi was able to stand for it, okay? He was able... He said, no ways. We are not going through these numbers. I, I, I don't even see where you're going. And then, you know, Nisi came up with the copy and paste theory, okay? Ngomezulu came up with the cooking theory that the state is manufacturing. Nisi said, forget manufacturing and cooking. These guys are copying and pasting. And what did Hulse have the nerve to do? One, he had the nerve to laugh. Secondly, he said, he now began to stutter. And then he says, not copy and paste as I'm being accused of and changing numbers. So can we adjourn until tomorrow and I'll do it on the original? So my question to you is, if you work in spreadsheets, do you need to adjourn to fix your data? If you have the raw data right there with you, somebody tell me why he needed to adjourn for the next day. Because it's just simply reset. Do your V lookup and you look up what you need and it comes back and it's pulled back nice and neat for you. So why did, why did the expert, okay, the shell phone expert, why did he need to adjourn for an entire day so that everything starts again in the morning but you know what they said in the comment section you guys <laughs> there were so many comments that said because he needs to go cook he forgot to put the six gun others said oh my god he needs to go tell Kaninda. you know what what you gave me isn't working out you know what else was particular for me about host's statement he said he opened up the evidence bag and then he took photos of it and he keeps emphasizing that he took photos of the evidence bag Bag. why did he need to take photos of the evidence bag i have so many questions but let me know in the comment section your thoughts let's see um let's move to see what mshololo has to say regarding legal aid i have indicated to the state that i'm grieved by the legal aid i cannot be able to print and therefore i need hard copies of this exhibit that the state is preparing the witness to right now so guys, the audio isn't so good and it's not my audio. It's really the audio from the courthouse because, you know, the budget has been cut real bad, real bad because, you know, the media outlets, they don't want to be there. They want to be out with the parties and all the political stuff right now. But I, I wanted to put in the part, this clip from Mshololo, where she talks about, listen, I am paid by legal aid. There is no way I can print all this. This is a lot of paper. You have to give me the documents in hard copy. And I think Baloy already knows that. Baloy knows that Advocate Mshololo is being paid by legal aid. Could that be the reason why Baloy is always on her case? Because she's being paid by legal aid? What is wrong with being paid by legal aid? I mean, the former defense minister and speaker of the house, Mapisa Ngakula, <laughs> she requested legal aid for her corruption case and it came back with a hard decline and you guys can already see how long these things drag every court appearance of your legal team is equivalent to you paying for that and any hours that they put in for research for this for that it it cads up really fast and i cannot even imagine how much they're paying right now for this sense of me you case that keeps adjourning by the way even if they go to court and they adjourn, it doesn't mean they stop being paid. They appeared in court. They're even paid for that day. That is why they have to be productive, in my opinion. But anyway, I digress. Michelle said, no, there's no way legal aid will even pay me for the expense of this printing this entire thousand pages. So you guys going to have to give it to me in hard copy. And I think... In the AKA case, um, one of the attorneys there, it, it, it was actually the state. It was the state in the AKA case. They stood up and they said they apologize for the small font that is being used. It's because they're under strict instructions to use less paper, the environment, costs, blah, 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 blah. So it seems, you know, budget cuts are everywhere and this printing of stuff is going on. But this is a cooking expedition. They can just skip this whole witness's testimony and stop wasting paper, okay? Save the planet. I digress. Let's get into the next part, which stood out in the comment section. Do it on the original. Okay, so we're starting at 23. So let's start 
Super, they need one being a chron chron chronological. Chronological. Uh, then as they now go for a number. My lord, I see when I there is another one. So I'll if if the court will give me time, just do it on your original, not copy and paste. Do it on the original and bring it in Tomorrow. for evidence, not copy and paste as I'm accused of and change numbers. Uh, but I'll do it on the original in front of the council if I need to. But you, I'll just you need do it to... on the screen. Yes, my lord. So can I just can I? Okay, I hear you. Yeah. So instead of reading from where you are reading, you'll read it from the screen. That's correct, my lord. And then you can point out with a stencil or whatever. That that's correct, my lord. But is that okay? So that you are gen. Otherwise. It's difficult to fly the spacecraft to Mars. Do you get the joke? Yes. Okay, we are done until tomorrow then. Thank you, Madam. We live in a drama. It's a series. Every day you will be shocked by something new. Uh, we have even forgotten what shocked us two weeks ago. Mm. You know what? Every single day, Judge Rata adds to his skill set. I mean, he shocked us today. I mean, he's a whole space expert now. You know that joke that he said? It's difficult to fly a spacecraft to Mars. And then he goes on to say, do you get the joke? And then him and the cell phone expert, they giggle about it. That was so ingenious, says one comment. Another comment goes on to say, It's difficult to fly a spacecraft to, Mark, to Mars. And that's a joke to who? Mm -hmm. Another comment goes on to say, I, I, really, I really don't even understand. This comment goes on to say, Soweto Tavern procedures are sometimes not good. Okay, so you know what is really, really shocking about Judge Rata is that when he said the spacecraft joke, basically what he's saying is for an aircraft to fly to Mars, for those that didn't get the joke, so for an aircraft to fly to Mars, it is not an easy task. So he's saying it is so difficult, okay? It is so difficult because to fly to Mars, okay, the spaceship and the astronauts, they've got to time everything and everything has got to work out really well because Mars is always moving and it moves at a different pace from Earth. So let's say you leave Earth today, but um, in Mars, it's not today. Mars is already like on a different orbit. So for you to land on Mars, you've got to time it. Everything has got to be so timed so that when you get to where you think Mars is, Mars is actually there and you can land your spacecraft. So do you see how kind of techy and complicated that is that's what he's saying about oh my god the defense is so tough to work with they just keep moving the ballpark every day every day they have a new request a new request when we started court today they said you guys sit down and met with the expert everybody's happy experts start talking nobody understands what he's talking about so that's what he's saying but wow it was just i i think it was absolutely unnecessary for him to add that joke it, it's really unnecessary what we need is what happened on the 26th of October, 2014. That's all we need. We don't need to know what happens in Mars. Can someone, anybody, at this point, anybody, justice for Senzo Meiwa, please type justice for Senzo Meiwa in the comment section. Type it, type it, type it. Make sure you share this video because this, this is getting out of hand. I'm going to read this last comment. And it says, unfiltered people, we must remember that we voted in clowns that control the different arms of the state and that is why we're witnessing this circus do you know what's funny my theme music i i typically put clown music <laughs> and i'll probably put it on this comment as well so okay let me read that comment again unfiltered people we must remember that we voted in clowns that control the different arms of state and that is why we are witnessing the circus number one we have a so-called judge from soweto talvins overseeing this comedy mic drop point number two criminals within the subs have been exposed they sure have number three the npa is determined to waste state monies on weak cases this case does not have evidence against the five accused it should have never made it to court this is a joke number four retired tavern judge and someone called him tavernizer you guys something retired tavern judge with no morals 
values or principles and they even forgot their role in court where sometimes they become the witness and sometimes even the prosecutor. I can go on and on, but I will stop here. I'm sure you all get my point. South Africa was never like this. I'm waiting to see what the JCS does after receiving the formal public complaint that was submitted recently as a, a petition. I think the response will be, we do not care. Oh my God, Mzansi, that is our last comment for the day. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys already know. If you've made it this far in the video, part of our VIP gang, 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 please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with the last three people you chatted to on WhatsApp okay why because it helps our channel grow and if you're ever called into court and the cell phone expert pulls up your 205s it's got to show that you are engaging okay right here on unfiltered on Zanzi unfiltered because what let's grow this channel i really appreciate everything please remember to like this video i cannot stress that enough thank you so much 85 percent of you are not subscribed to the channel you keep coming back I know that you do because YouTube tells me that you come back, but you don't subscribe. So do me that honorable thing. Tap that. Just tap, tap, just tapity tap that subscribe button. It absolutely makes my day. Thank you so much for your support. Road to 30,000 subscribers. And if you made it this far in the video, you already know. Drop a justice for Senzo Mayua with the heart emoji in the comment section because you know what? This is the reason we do these videos. Later this week, I'm going to get back to doing videos on AKA. I'm still reading the book. I'm done with Bridgerton, so I can get back to reading the book. Please support those videos as well. As well. It means a lot to me. These cases, I pick them strategically. Um, so your support in keeping that case alive with the views really means a lot to me. Thanks so much for watching. And you know what? I'll catch you on our next upload.